Moschino Films asked, how can he level up as a DP when he doesn't own a camera that is being used for bigger videos? And it's a great question because a lot of people are kind of wondering the same thing. And I'll say as a director, the bigger DPs that I work with don't own cameras at all. Um, I, I did go to uh, warehouse workshops with uh, Justin Jones. There's another one going on tomorrow. So if you are in LA, make sure you check that out. Uh, a couple of weeks, maybe a month ago, and there was a panel up there and that same question was asked. And uh, a couple of the, D the DPs answered and they gave some good, some good insight. Even if you had, uh, let's say, a Red or an Alexa, a lot of times you end up getting stuck using that camera and maybe your, your set of lenses. So you're always shooting all your projects on the same camera which from a creative standpoint really doesn't, it, it gets old pretty soon. So all the, all the DPs on the panel had actually sold all their cameras and would rent a camera depending on the budget and really depending more on the creative uh, for each job. So what I would say to uh, Moschino Films is as a DP, I would focus on the creative and your craft and not just be a rental house. I mean, that's where you're really gonna start to see the growth. Um, and to be honest, don't even mention a camera and the production asks the director or whoever's going to hire you asks hey do you have a camera just say yeah i have a camera uh, or, or you know depending on the job and, and how much the rate is i have a camera and you know but let's figure out what the creative needs get involved with reading the treatment if it's something that you want to do and a creative you like if you have a camera idea as far as like oh i want to shoot an alexa or the red hit up a buddy go to share grid Rent the thing for two, three hundred dollars, um, and and take that out of your rate. Maybe you paid a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks, two thousand dollars, a thousand, yeah, something like that, eight hundred bucks. Um, you know, take two, three hundred bucks out of that rate. Shoot, even four hundred if you need to, and and rent that camera and and do that job, and then you'll have that stuff on your on your reel and just continue building like that. That would be my best advice. You know, don't because as soon as you spend money on a camera, I don't even have a camera. You know, because as soon as you spend money on it, you really got to uh, uh, make it back. And by the time you're trying to rent it out, there's already a new camera coming out and, and half the people are not looking for your camera anymore. So it's really tough. And uh, But I do like the creative I, the creative uh, answer, which was all their things, videos and, and content that they were shooting was, were always being shot on their camera and their lenses and production wouldn't really let them run out rent to get lenses or things like that because they were like hey you already have it and and they, they felt like they had basically just become a rental house so